The sponsor of my stream and podcast is DistroKid. If you want Sam percent off on your first subscription with DistroKid, release your music to the world on every major music platform. Make sure to go to my website, andrewvanzark.com, and click on the discount link under the tab of DistroKid. You don't know the power of the dark side. Welcome to Star Wars Chatter, hosted by Andrew Vanzark. Hello, welcome to the Star Wars Chatter, hosted by Andrew Benzar, where we talk anything related to Star Wars. But for those of you that play Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, I'm level 49, I'm a fairly new player, but there is new story here, because I love the fleets, and it's my main priority in the game. So as you can see here, we got the Raven Claws right there, the new fleet that we're going to have. And it's really interesting. So, let's introduce the Raven Claws right ahead. So, the basics of these uh, fleet is that empowered by foresight gives foresight to non scandal level allies. Attacks can't be evaded. That's really good. So, Raven Claws provides greater benefits if home one is capital ship. Capital ships, for those of you that don't know about Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, is the main uh ship you know the one that controls and be and becomes the leader basically so from there he got unique attributes so enemy gets target locked when raven claws starts turn in foresight this spell enemy buffs when raven claws attacks twice one enemy turns random ally gets defense up if enemy doesn't attack a defense up target the enemy gets defense down and then Raven Claws gains Foresight whenever an enemy is given target lock. And when Foresight expires, allies earn offense up. And then last, Unique allows nuns, scoundrel rebel allies to ignore taunt effects. Those are really good unique attributes for this new fleet of the Raven's Claw. So the whole inspiration behind this is that Kyle Katarn has two ships across his appearances. The Moldy Crow was his original ship, but the version of Kali's Katarn that we have in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes was crew on the Raven's Claw. We made sure that this ship felt like it was crewed by a Force user with the ability names Force Guided Laser Cannons, Battle Flows, Manipulation, and the Heavy Reliance of Foresight's through guiding foresights. A fun fact that we can take out from uh, this is that the original design has no visible weapons, so we were given some freedoms in where and how the attacks for the ships look. And some strategy tips for this is that use non scandal rebel teams under home one. If, if, if you use non scandal rebels, you'll be able to uh, team up better under home one. And then strategize around foresight effects to focus priority targets. That's really good to remember when using the Raven's Claw once it comes out. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And now you know that the Raven Claw is about to come and it's going to be really good for those of you that are really into the Hone One as leader, technically, within the fleet battles. So catch you on the flip side. Adios, amigos. I'll see you later. This was the Star Wars Chatter, hosted by Andrew Mazar. If you have any thoughts or any messages that you want to leave me, go check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Or my website, www.andrewmazar.com. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Sayonara. When you listen to Andrew Van Zark, you listen with power. Now, you're listening with power. Andrew Van Zark, stream on every major music platform. Power to the music.